All right, so I'm back, and today um, we're gonna start a new little four-part series of re-reviews. And again, I'm sorry, there's nothing new and exciting going on at the moment uh, on my channel. Just going through the ones that Tommy reviewed with, um, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Anyway, um, by request, we will be re-looking at tracks. Um, in his car, here he is in his car mode. Um, but we will also, over the next few episodes, we will also take a look at Wheeljack and Runabout and Runabuck. I can't remember which one's which. I'll figure it out for their actual reviews. But they are all essentially the exact same mold, so you're going to be watching me do the same exact mold four times in a row. So, so yeah, um, or maybe I should just do them in one long video. You know, I'll, I'll just do it all in one video. I mean, what's the point of stringing this one out? Um, anyway, uh, so I know Mr. Lant wanted me to showcase him against, uh, with Blaster, so we will, we will, I've got Blaster right here. I know those guys were buddy buddies so so yeah um, they all roll fairly well um, I would say in car mode the one that I like the best uh, I'm gonna have to give it to him real quick uh, let me pause this real quick and find out which one's which run about run amok so um, I think he just looks better. I really like the uh, black, the red, with the big Decepticon logo. He almost looks like one of the uh, Stunticons here. Um, I think Wild Rider. Yeah. So that that's actually kind of cool. I, I kind of wish they would actually retool us into a Wild Rider. That'd be awesome. Um, Trax was the first mold, um, their first version of this mold, and. Trax is the only one that uses this actual mold. Um, we, then Wheeljack came out, and then there was the rest. Um, I know there's a Shattered Glass Trax out out there somewhere, and then there's also you know, the Asian versions of these two. Um, I think that's it, though. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six seven uses of the same mold and quite frankly I would be happy to see more um, this is actually a pretty solid mold so we'll uh, showcase one thing on tracks here real quick um, he does have a flying car mode um, it's let's see you just gotta pull the doors out And then fold out the wings like so. Do the same thing over here. Have to move those things off. And that's uh, that's his flying car mode. Um, this just does not translate very well. Uh, I know he did. He had a flying car mode in the G1. Uh, cartoon but this does not translate in this toy well at all um, it, it's it's pathetic is what it is um, but let's just go ahead and get him into robot mode and see how cool he is there um, almost was quoting off the bottom is there I don't mean to do that I just watch his videos all the time <laughs> all right so you extend the legs down um, pull this panel out and then rotate it up so then you'll rotate it around at the waist and then fold the feet down and there you have his feet you take this section here and fold this back you can take you take this gun here pull this out it was really wedged in there <laughs> um, then you take the tires here and you rotate them all the way around like so that will give you clearance for the arms so do that again over here like so take the chest here push it up 
and that automorphs his head up and then the shoulders out. Rotate the hands. Then you can take these whole door panels here and you rotate them up one notch. And that gives it more of that angled look that he's supposed to have. And then you take this gray section here, pull this out, and these two little notches here and here will lock into these two little slots back here. And I know I'm breezing over this transformation, but you're about to see it three more times, so. Uh, for the most part. He's got different legs than, than the rest do. Uh, take his gun here and just plug it into his hand. So he's got his little blaster here. And these can just peg in. They're just on the uh, little, I think that's three millimeter clip system. And it just clips on right there. And then they they got two, they got where they clip in, and then also the top port is on a hinge. Uh, and then this also does swivel, so you can kind of just pose them however you want. So, there is tracks. And next up we'll look at him. So, just pull these pieces out. He does retain the same similar... Uh, car wings that he does but it, it doesn't work for him at all so um, I, but you could if you really really wanted to I, I won't so um, so uh, to transform it from car mode instead of flying car mode um, what you want to do is just kind of loosen things up a little bit here Pull the legs down. Then you take this piece here, fold it out, just like you did on tracks. You split the legs, fold this up, and fold this up. You know, make sure everything back here is flat. And this is actually the front of his legs, instead of his where he had the back. Um, he's. You can see that um, the inside of his legs is molded differently than than tracks, so you can't really even use it. Um, just facing the other way. It just will not work that way. Um, fold the wing or the doors back. Take this whole assembly here. Fold it back. Pull out his gun, and then you can just flip that out. Take his arms. Same thing with the wheels. Just they just rotate over. Push up on the chest. Keep forgetting their names, damn it. Run amok, run amok. Alright, um, flip the little orange panel here up. Run amok, run amok. <laughs> I just, I, I, for the life of me, I can't remember that right now. I don't know what's wrong. just have to rem remember it for another five minutes. Um, pull these door panels up. And pull the red piece out again. And just clips in there. Like so. And you take these little gold bits here, fold them out if you so choose. Um, I typically leave them down. I think they're they're definitely more a wheel jack look than than run them out, run them up, and run about. Put the shoulder cannons in, just like tracks. Um, so let's fold these down, and there you go. And next we'll take a look at Wheeljack, and his transformation is identical to him. Um, we're now into that. These three are all the same. Trax was the only one that had that slight difference to him, so. Oh, pulled his foot off. So 
fold these down, put the wing back, out, up, back, out, up, flip those out. Around, flip this around, push up on the chest, take this, flip this up, and back in. And for him, you take this the gun here, uh, and it's the same mold as all the other ones, but instead of putting it in his hand, you take it and you use this little clip on the back, you clip it up there, and now he's got a shoulder cannon, which is really awesome. And then you take these, and what you do is you put them in his hands here, and they are wrenches, just little wrenches which is really awesome um, really fitting of the character and the last one runabout and you know again it's it's all the same I really could just pause this video and then restart it but it's actually quicker to just do this on the screen because these guys aren't that hard um, they give me a little difficulties here and there, but for the most part, they're pretty, pretty simple. Pretty simple, guys. Like I said, I don't like pulling these little bits out because that's more of a wheel jack and tracks look than these guys. I mean, these guys were supposed to have this section here kind of more up over his head um, than the rest, or than those guys. Um, but it's it's still it's it's you know we, we there's probably no chance that they would make a runabout and run amok. Um, individual figures so this is this is probably the best we're gonna get when it comes to these guys and i i'm really happy that you know they're settling with repaints and not making their own figures with retools uh, um, these guys have the same head but these two are different heads altogether. so um, there's tracks head hard to see with the bright lights right above him Wheeljack. Runabout. Um, I really like the way their faces look. And run amok. So. So yeah. Um. Let's see here. Let's do some size comparison. Um, here they are next to the Seeker Mold, who is seeming unstable at the moment. Right. So, for a change, the Seeker Mold is actually just a hair taller than them. Just by a hair so that's actually kind of cool um, and here is tracks next to blaster the unique toys blaster um, there you go mr. Lant tracks and blaster um, yeah I like blaster 
Um, he's a, he's a he's an okay character. Um, I am not a fan of tracks. Uh, in my original review of tracks, I gave him a two. I think a two out of ten. But that's not fair because um, it's actually a really good mold. Um, it, it's an amazing mold. Um, the mold itself, I w for all of these guys, I will give these guys a ten out of ten. Um, I, as much as I dislike Trax, this is like almost a perfect representation of him in both car and robot mode. The flying car mode is it doesn't work at all. But then again, flying car in the first place was just annoying. Why not just be a plane? Anyway. Um, so, pose ability. Um, their heads are on ball joints. So, gets a decent range of motion. Um, kind of a little side to side. Around. Up, down. Uh, shoulders are on ball joints. So, gets a good range of motion. There's also a hinge right here. So, the whole assembly moves too. So, good range of motion there. Swivels at the bicep. He's got two hinges at the elbow. Swivels at the hand. Uh, rotates at the waist. Hips are on ball joints. Uh, knee is on a hinge. There is a swivel at the thigh. The foot is on a hinge here. The front is on a ball joint. And the back is also on a ball joint. So it gets a great range of motion. And the wheel is on its own hinge as well. So gets a pretty good range of motion there. If you kind of put the wheels down, it's much more like the your, their G1 counterparts, the Battle Chargers. They kind of roll. You can't even see it, but they can kind of roll. Anyway. Um, and that's the same with the uh, with him and, and Wheeljack. Um, him, everything above the knees is the same. Uh, the uh, bend at the knee is a lot more limited. Um, I, and I do believe that's because this was originally designed. Even though he came out first, I, I still firmly believe that Wheeljack was the design for the mold. Because um, you can see the front of Wheeljack's knee here. And that's why this doesn't bend back very far. Um, unlike these guys where it's a pretty solid bend. Um, and then the, the foot is on a hinge here uh, where it connects into the body and the back is on a ball joint and the uh, foot is on the ball joint as well. Now even though this is utilizing the same foot mechanics um, it, it's different because this wheel is, his wheel is permanently attached to his leg, whereas his wheels come down. So they did put a decent amount of thought into this. Um, you know, not only does he have, you know, different shoulder cannons than the rest, uh, he also has different wing bits, different head, obviously, and the legs are almost completely different as is the uh, the front grill and let's see and he's got a little wing on the back and he does not so all in all uh, it's a really great mold I'm not a fan of tracks but uh, I know some people are uh, I would I would definitely recommend picking up at least one version of this mold it is that good uh, I'm very happy with the four um, as you can see, even though that they are all the same mold, they all have their own kind of character characteristics and personalities. So, so yeah, they're they're pretty solid figures. I really like them. Um, highly recommend them. So, um, and again, here's here's Blast. Just cause. And masterpiece of Just cause.